Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. Let me introduce to you the first female Olaf, Broadway's Frozen, Ryan Redmond. Thanks hi. for coming. Hi. hi, guys. Don't you love going to an interview and they talk for 15 minutes before they actually say hi? Okay, well, all right, we're out of time now. So. Oh, nice to see you all. <laughs> yeah, that day... Uh, we were talking about it because mm-hmm. I had not seen Broadway's Frozen at that point. So I didn't know it was, can we talk about what it is? I mean, yeah, there's no, there's no secret. No. no. It's, it's a, pu- I mean, you I see I have a puppet. You, yeah. And so you see you the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a almost four foot uh, child in front of me, basically. Right. it's I, I, I kind of equate it to having a child standing on my toes and like walking around. You yeah. know? Right. <laughs> exactly. Now, um, but a really funny and quippy child. Were you a puppeteer at all before <laughs> no, that? No. Well? Oh, so you I've had to never learn touched all a puppet. of that. Yeah. How do you, I mean, wow. was that an easy learn? Um, I wouldn't say easy would be the first word I would go to. <laughs> right. Um, it, was, it was definitely challenging, um, but our amazing um, movement coordinator Lorenzo Pizzoni um he helped me throughout the entire thing and they coached me and Disney has just been so amazing just making sure I'm comfortable and I know every step of the way how to do it properly and I have PT and um you know I've got a personal trainer to strengthen my arms because it's so, a lot of interesting yeah. muscles oh, yeah. have you noticed uh, your a change in your body since you started yeah yeah I've got, kid on your toes? yeah totally it's 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 interesting because it's a lot of muscles that um, I don't normally use. It's like top of the arm muscles, um, like kind of like rock climbing muscles. Right. Um, but what but, I find unique about this, yeah. and I, I don't mean to interrupt, but, but watching you do the character, even though you know Olaf is a guy mm-hmm. and you are not a guy, it, you just, it, it, that all just evaporates. It, it's this mm, one, yeah. it's two, it's two characters, but one character yeah. because you are, a, you're, you're not hidden at all. No. You're, and I like to think of it, like, think about how many of our favorite Male cartoon characters are voiced by women. Bart Simpson, yeah, Woody yeah. Woodpecker. That's right. um, so I'm just giving voice to this male puppet. And right. honestly, after a while, when you're watching on the stage, you forget that the person is there. Yeah. You're just watching. He's looking at Olaf. Little, little Olaf. His blinky around. eyes. He's so cute. Well, yeah. As an actress, do you like hearing that? We just forgot you were yeah, there. Yeah, we just, yeah. We just yeah. look yeah. right past you. Then, we look right no, past you. No, because then no. she's doing her job right. Yeah. The, yeah. Then, then the puppet you. people are happy. Right. Yeah. yeah. The puppet people go like So as a puppeteer, you're holding on to this puppet the whole time. What yeah. happens if you have to like sneeze? Um, I have to pray about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. not really anything I can do. No, I, I I come off stage every once in a while and my amazing dresser is there with like a towel and a water bottle. <laughs> yeah, a yeah. Kleenex. Yeah. Wow. But so Olaf a could drop. say like, you know, sorry, excuse me. Like, yeah, you know? Olaf could sneeze. Sure. He, basically, he basically does what I do. So uh, I've infused some of my isms into his his life and so if he wants to sneeze he's gonna sneeze so he is you at the core yeah so uh something you need to know about uh broadway's frozen is it this is just a fun fun production it's oh. for it's for everyone and uh, i know scary i said scary you got to go see uh frozen tonight and he's like oh okay what's it about and i said it's frozen <laughs> i loved it so much you he did? hadn't yes. seen the movie so he oh. didn't even know what it was yeah, yeah. yeah. you had no preconceived no. notions okay, I, 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 I knew the build a snowman. I knew the music from yeah. it. And then I was like, oh, I know this song. I know that song. I know that yeah. song. Yeah. And there's a lot of new songs in the yep. show that yeah. are amazing. Yeah. They've written some amazing yeah. Yeah other songs as well as the favorites from the movie. So Ryan Redmond is here, of course, Olaf in Frozen. Uh, so you were raised a theater geek, just like the rest of us? I well, mean- I wouldn't say I was raised. I actually, um, growing up in the South, I played very competitive softball for 10 years. And um, I went to a performing, or I had a, a musical theater director, actually, uh, when I moved to a new school. And I was like, I'm going to try the musical. And... Um, they were doing Annie, and I was so gung ho about um, about getting the part. I listened to Andrea McCardle and tried to copy her voice, and I was like, "I got this." And I auditioned, and I got the role of Mr. Bundles, the laundry man. Oh, yeah. I, saw, I saw you as a Daddy Warbucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know most yeah. people do. No, um, but little did I know that was foreshadowing for me playing male parts. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, and then I, I went to high school and had amazing teachers, and just caught the bug. And I was like, uh, I like to make people laugh, and that can be a job for yeah. life. Oh, I and especially it. some it's audiences awesome. are not in the mood to laugh. Some are <laughs> not as easy as, as others. But <laughs> something you need to know about Ryan, of course, this is not her first Broadway show. You, yeah. you actually, uh, 
I know that you you did the the show If Then mm-hmm. with Adina. Yes. Who's been here on our show many yeah. times. I love her, my girl. And of course, uh, some guy named Lynn manuel Miranda. Uh, had I've never heard of him. Bring it on. <laughs> so, so, I mean, being a working actor, Broadway, New York City, I mean, is this sort of like, wow, I never really dreamed it as a child, but now I'm here. This is really kind of a dream come true. Yeah, well, when I got Bring It On, I was still in college and um, had had not really planned for what was going to happen next in my life. I, you know, I was studying musical theater and I guess I just thought I was going to jump into the audition world. Um, but uh, I was performing with this foundation that is very close to me, the Broadway Dreams Foundation, yeah. um, nonprofit organization that uh, brings musical theater uh, all over the world and teaches intensives. And I was in New York performing at a benefit and Bernie Telsey of Telsey was there and they were like, this girl's got to come in for this new musical that we're doing. And it was the first developmental reading of bring it on. And I just was in the right place at the right time. And everything sort of spiraled after that. Tom Kitt, who wrote the music with Lynn manuel and Amanda Green for bring it on wrote if then. So I just jumped wow. into if then right after that. It's who and you then, know. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, seriously. I, it's I showing up it. to work and being kind and being professional. And that will hopefully produce longevity in this career yeah. that sometimes can be tumultuous and up and down. No. Oh. <laughs> I, I mean, it. it's all butterflies and rainbows. I thought if them was amazing. I wish it had yeah. lasted longer. I know. It was, it was so was, good. It was really cool. Yeah. I, I w- was in a master class with Adina and Anthony Rapp and LaShawn's, wow. all these voices that I listened to um, in That's pretty cool. Coming Georgia, um, where I'm from, back in the day. Yeah, and I was just like, I'm on stage with them. This Isn't is that so, great? Cool. so cool. So, uh, Ryan Med- Redmond, by the way, if you're just turning us on from Frozen on Broadway, uh, so you can keep him on. Our show is on uh, not only across the country, but around the world. So we have a lot of people not only locally listening who work in Broadway and in, in the theater here, but listening who are going to come visit New York City. Mm-hmm. In your opinion, I mean, uh, including Frozen, what do, you, what do you think about what Broadway has to offer right now? I mean, as far as the diversity of shows, or is there anything else that you're a fan of? Oh my my gosh, or do you work too so hard? Much. <laughs> I work very hard. I have no time, Eldest. No, just kidding. Um, no, I, I feel like Broadway is so exciting right now. I mean, obviously, you have your Hamiltons and your Book of Mormons, um, but you have the beautiful, heartfelt, the band's visit. And um, I just feel like we're getting a taste of pretty much everything. Um, we have all these exciting pop star music, the Cher show. Right. You got Michael Jackson coming in. It's It's really, you can get whatever you want if you're looking for something in Broadway. It's I think all it's there. awesome right yeah. now. Yeah. And it's, Disney, and what Disney has done. Uh, because amazing. I remember when I first moved to New York, yeah. uh, Times Square was a whole different neighborhood. Oh, yeah. D- <laughs> Disney has made it lovely. It really uh, is. I know, but you know, they it's, tend to do that. Some yeah. of the magic of Disney, which we've experienced for yeah. years in the, in movies and theme parks, you know, now we have it in our own backyard. Yeah. In New York, of course, you know, Lion King, and, and all everything that Disney has given us, and now Frozen, which is just, like I said, a show for everyone. And congratulations to you, Thank and you. And give our love to everyone at the production because it, you guys are rewriting how shows are being cast, and it's a great thing. Yeah, it's really wonderful to be a part of. So, there you go. I could use a job if you have one for oh, me. Oh, um, who would you like to be? You have to play oh, a female no, role. I have to play yeah. a female. Yeah. I'm going to wear, uh, I'm gonna wear the, the big tuxedo gown that was on the <laughs> Oscars. <laughs> yes. Billy Porter. Billy, yeah. Wasn't that awesome? It was amazing. I, need, I know. I need, I need you want to make everyone laugh, but Greg T sat next to me and cried the entire time. I know. People, yeah. people are living in all of their feelings at Frozen. Oh, it yeah. seriously it goes, really runs the gamut. It is a lot of fun. Ryan, Thank congratulations. Time. Thank you. Ryan Redmond, thanks for being here. Make sure you check out Broadway's Frozen.